Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with another video today, uh, just a bonus video, and uh, that's because I've got some books from mycomicshop.com. A uh, five-pound box of comics came today, in fact. Uh, it's, it's quite substantial. This is all the books that I supplement my collection with. Uh, I get most of my books, uh, I'd say probably at least 60% uh, of my books from my local comic shop. And the rest I get now from mycomicshop.com for the most part. So I get the delivery from them probably twice a month. You can choose to go weekly, uh, bi-weekly, or, or monthly with your delivery from them. And uh, I've had minimal problems with these people. So I highly recommend mycomicshop.com. So let's crack it open and see what I've gotten. This bi-weekly deliver here. Delivery here. <laughs> Yeah, this is quite a lot of stuff. I've got more stuff coming probably in two more weeks. That's how bi-weekly works. All right. Big old honking stack of books here. Nicely packed, as always. I love that. So, let's get all this harmful tape off. Let's keep anything. Would be tragic. Okay, packing slip on top. A rip. Oh, and I also have a, a package I got from eBay of a book I'm um, I've been looking for for a while. I still may be looking because I don't know if this is going to be a good enough copy. All right, let's just get this stuff out of the way first. First one up is Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi number one. Uh, this is the, let's see, Shang-Chi number one. The, the Jung-Gung Yun variant, number one. And I have the Cho variant already. This one's pretty nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, let's right here. Next. Hey, look at that. Red Room, another copy of Red Room. Uh, that reminds me that the Red Room is the book I'm giving away this week. So uh, be sure to uh, stop by my um, Any Comics Review video, which I'll leave a link for at the end of this video. And if you're interested in getting a copy of Red Room, you can uh, leave a comment on that video and I'll put you in the drawing for it this week. Pretty good chance of winning one too, because there's not that many comments usually. So uh, if you like a copy, then um, yeah, this this is the time to get one. All right, it's second copy. Uh, I love that book. And X Corp. Don't know what this is about, but uh, it was the number one X book, and it was like uh, I ordered it a couple of months ago for like you know you get like the super discount price. So it was like two sixty nine, I think, it's just the uh, regular three ninety nine price for a book. Just pretty, pretty good discount. I haven't found a better discount online than than what these guys offer. So let's see what that's about. If anyone's read X Corp already, uh, give me a shout in the uh, in the uh, comments and let me know what you think of it. And uh, next one is Time Before Time. This is a um, an image comic. This is the cover B, I want to say, and the cover A. So I got both of those. This is probably a candidate for the Indie Comics Review too, I'm thinking. If anyone's read this already, uh, <laughs> uh, let me know what you think of it. Next one is Star Wars The High Republic. Uh, notice they don't have a lot of those stickers on the on the front like they always, that they sometimes do, I should say. You know, the newer books, they don't store them like, that way. Uh, I'm kind of uh, behind on the High Republic. I only read so issue two, I want to say now, so I'm gonna have to catch up on this. Next is <laughs> Junkie Cable. Junkie Cable, I got a, a spare copy of that too. Uh, I did a review of that in this week's Indie Comic Review, along with Red Room. And I think the third book was third book was ENIAC. Even though uh, it's been out for a while, I just read it, so it's new to me. I know to some of you folks who have not been able to get bad idea comics either oh I did order a copy of this, so I do have a <laughs> yeah. this is the uh, the Joker number uh, two 
Number three, excuse me. <clears throat> Number three. So, yeah, this is uh, my favorite cover, The Joker. I think it's a Finch cover. Yeah, that's uh, a very cool playing card cover. I love that, man. And Ice Cream Man. I, I, somewhere I've ordered the B cover. I don't know where I ordered the B cover from, but that should be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, this is the A cover of Ice Cream Ice Cream Man number 24. And a Geiger number two. Uh, just another cover. I think I have a different cover of this. I'm pretty sure I do. But I just like this cover. I wanted it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a glow in the dark or something. No, just a cover D. Cover D. So just let's love the, the way this looks. This looked. Not a second printer or anything. Ah. All right. Here's the Batman uh, 108. Uh, the first appearance of, uh, first full appearance of uh, Molly, Miracle Molly, I think is her name. So, this is the much sought after 1 in 25. Uh, this, um, this purports to be a 9 2. That's why they, they I think they always, uh, they kind of like undergrade on a lot of these books, which I like on uh, in my comic shop. I was, I got a 9 2 once before that looked considerably better than a 9 2. So, I have no reason to believe that this is not uh, the same case. Nice. And Stray Dogs, number four, with that movie cover. Love this, love this book. I just, oh my God, I read, oof, it is getting, it is getting heavy. It is getting heavy, but I can't wait for the, the final issue of this. This is, um, man, <laughs> those of you who are reading it know what I'm talking about. And my girl. Yara Floor, oh, Yara, Yara Floor, excuse me, Yara Floor, who is Wonder Girl. This is her early days, and I guess how she became uh, the um, the new frontier or the infinite frontier Wonder Woman. Number one of that. That's that's a character I got lots of good big hopes for. And something, wow! I just read the description of this, and it sounded very interesting. It's from Behemoth. So they haven't been, um, they haven't let me down yet with, with anything. Osaka Mime, this is like a graphic novel. This is a complete uh, graphic novel. You can see it's a, it's a one shot. Um, if anyone's read this, uh, please, please let me know about that too. Uh, this is a bit of a longer read. So this could be um, an Indie Comics review as well. Uh, this is the candidate and this, this that cover is just pretty wild. So. Uh, that drew me in as well. Oh, what else? Oh, this one here. I don't know much about this. I saw uh, the cover. It had like three different covers. Uh, this one is uh, the um, the C cover. It is uh, Punchline and the Vaudevillians. Vaudevillain? The Vaudevillains. <laughs> Uh, we'll play on vaudeville there, I guess, but punchline and the vaude villains. I think I got uh, another cover of this one also. And once again, another indie comics uh, candidate that I, I just couldn't find anywhere else. Um, my my LCS did not have this, and I didn't see it a lot of other places too. Uh, Batman 108. This is the B cover with Miracle Molly on it. It's kind of cool. And Shadow Man number one. This is the B cover of uh, that book that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. And the A cover of said book as well, which is uh, the one I had was kind of like in, in shoddy shape. So, so I think uh, this one might be a little bit better. Yeah, it looks better already. Yeah, I want to have a, a different copy of that number one. Here's Punchline and the Vaude Villains. Yeah, uh, this is uh, the um, this is the A cover. Uh, this is by Ted Sakura. Hmm. Anyone heard of this? Uh, <laughs> shout it out because uh, I I've not, but I, I'm just and I kind of felt like 
you know, I'm kind of into the ha-ha thing. And this is a clown as well. I'm, I'm just reaching that stuff here, but it just looked like it might be something I might want to read. So I picked it up and it was cheap. Oh, here we go. Finally, I get a copy of this book. It's been as hard to find as, as teeth on a chicken is You Promised Me Darkness. And this is, uh, I want to say, the this is the D cover. Uh, I had to pay like double cover price to get this. And even still, a lot of places, it's, you just can't find it. it. It's sold out. It's sold out in so many places. Uh, first printings are gone. I think this is the first printing, too. I want to say, yeah, this is the first printing, but it's just a, a D cover. So uh, I got to work on getting the sub subsequent issues after this because, I don't know, the two is already out. I've missed it. I'm going to have to like, round it up from somewhere. The final book. Uh, from um, my comic shop is Minky Woodcock, the girl who uh, electrified Tesla. This is a virgin cover of that issue number one. Now, I've still got to get issue number two of this because I you know, I think it's out now too and I missed it, but or maybe it's not out yet. I'm not sure, but this is issue number one. I love that virgin cover. That's um, like an oil painting almost. Okay, now to the eBay joint that I picked up, um, packed in an envelope, which is kind of a bad sign, but it might be okay. I uh, feel two pieces of cardboard on it, at least. Yeah, always, if you can, folks, I mean, if you can, use the Gemini boxes, because if you're buying comics for regular, you probably get them like I do. I got like a million of them. But even so, I mean, you can get them for cheap. I mean, you, you can, if you're gonna be shipping comics regularly, maybe this person just had a one comic they wanted to sell and then want to invest in any. But, um, use the Gemini box. It's just so much easier. Gemini box, if you're shipping a bunch of them, just put them in that box the way that uh, uh, my comic shop does. Okay, let's see. It's minimal taping. That's a good sign. Okay, and this tapes to the back of the board. <sighs> Let me free it from the board here and we can uh, check out the book and see what kind of condition it's in. I decided to collect um, all the Jim Steranko, uh Nick Fury Agents of Shields that I can find. Uh, I'm almost there with most of them. Except for the big one, which is the number one, which is this one. Now, this one, uh, I tell you, that this book, um, this, this is still not it. This is probably, um, I, don't, I don't know what they what they graded it as, but it, I would probably maybe call it like a two or something like that. You know, um, I just wanted to, uh, I couldn't find anything. I'm looking to pay under 100 bucks for a very, for a nice copy and not like a gradable not like a 98 that's just i'm not that kind of baller right now you know it's just like a a decent a decent book that presents well and you can't find anything decent for less than 100 for sure um and sometimes 150 to 200 for a decent book is this ah that's a smell of of decaying paper Nothing like it. Look at it and kind of see it's um, it's got some tanning for sure. Back page is very tan. Um, I look at this as probably a a, a good reading copy. Just, you know, because you can't a reading copy is. I saw one reading copy it was, it was like twenty bucks and it was terrible. It was just dead on arrival. But this one, um, you can see all the the tanning and and all that uh it's, it's not great but it is a number one and i think i paid less than 30 bucks for it so like around 20 something bucks for it uh, plus shipping so th this was a decent deal so i'm probably still looking <laughs> for a a decent number one to call like the book so this is this is going to be the reading copy I'm, I'm thinking here which is a very decent reading copy not terrible not great but hey, it's a Nick Fury, Agent of Shield, number one, and uh, it's gonna be my one of one of the books in my uh, Soranko collection. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, um,
Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn notifications on so you know when I'm making another video. Uh, once again, I'm going to put the video link up here so you can uh, leave a comment on my uh, Indie Comics review. And if you want to get a copy of Red Room, just leave a comment of any kind, and uh, you, you'll be thrown into the drawing for that. So until next time, guys and gals and everybody else, see you in the funny papers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.